30? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, clock is slow. Okay, I think it is slow. Mm -hmm. yeah. says it's slow. I want to welcome everybody to the September 19th board meeting. Everybody that's joining us online as well. Um, I'd like to open the meeting. Uh, we'll begin with prayer. Uh, Supervisor Howard, would you like to do it? Would you bow your heads, please? This evening, our Heavenly Father, we come to tell you thank you. Thank you for all the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you will continue to protect us and guide us and keep us, dear Heavenly Father. We pray for all the ones that are sitting around the board table here tonight, dear Heavenly Father. We pray that you will crown our head with wisdom. And dear Heavenly Father, we pray that the decisions that we make will be pleasing to you and beneficial to all, to all kind. We pray, dear Heavenly Father, that you will continue to protect our military personnel that stands abroad for our freedom. Dear Heavenly Father, bless leaders on the national level, on the state level, and on the local level. These are other blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, um, we're going to open the floor up for citizen comment period. Um, if there's any citizen that has comment, you have about three minutes to speak. All right, since there's none, we will move forward. Um, Mr. Hampton. Mr. Hampton. Mr. Hampton, would you like to come up and see us? I just stopped by to get here, something with you all. Uh, one of the few things uh, been going to mind last three or four years, up for about three or four years now. I'm being reminded when Mr. Victor Collins discovered me, and he brought my the attention to the board. They used me on a project, and. That project, I buried up on it, but I never asked for something that changed on it. On that project. And I thank you all for giving me the opportunity to do that project. And the next one, give or take, uh, on and so far, uh, salary. But I've asked you all to earmark me some work or give me the opportunity to do some work in the past. Matter of fact, for recent, the last few months, uh, it can be that the county might have work that they might not be able to get to. They might be doing it in house, but it get to be clogged up. The year running narrowing down. I do jobs as small as thirty five hundred dollars. I uh, now they got it where I can go up to seventy five thousand now. You know, it was fifty. I can go up to seventy five thousand. And the problem we had over here before when I was here, I see if we. When we go to the feds, all my wife has to do is tell the feds I got authorization to take care of business. So we passed it by attorney, so he said he could fix that. So anything that come down between here and there, my wife ain't got to sign it anymore. I got power of attorney to sign contracts or take care of any other business is taken care of. I would appreciate it if the county or Tippehaw County treat me as a citizen as anyone else, as she does Carson down in Carthage, as she does Phillips in, in, in Columbus, as she do others in other places. I pay taxes here, I live here. I have tw 30 grandchildren, five great-grandchildren. They come home sometimes, I like to have some beside my God visit I might want to bring them out to dinner. I might want to have something for my wife. That's like anyone else, their, their family. I, I'm a human, I'm a person. My wife and I are one. We, we, we don't like all the confusion. We're one. We're one in Christ Jesus, my wife and I. We operate as one. I have one wife and no sweethearts, no alcohol, and no tobacco. We operate as one. We, if my wife, if I say I'm the project manager, I have the authorization because we are legally married. I have the authorization, what is in my name, what is in her name. If it's in my name, she has authorization to handle it. If it's in her name, I have observation now. So I, I'm here on the part about work and that the other the other issues that were brought up, his resolve now, he can be taken care of. So I'm here 
asking you, not demanding, I'm asking and requesting you all to give me an opportunity to do some work from, from 3,500 up to 75,000. I can get, I got bonding capacity. I can be bonded. So I do small jobs. I do a lot of jobs at 25 and 30,000. Sometimes if you got a job that you want to get done and if it goes over 75,000, you furnish the material, I can still do the job, you know. And I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all the opportunity to be here today. And, you know, I appreciate it all. I thank you, Mr. Williams, for giving me the opportunity to work at your property. I thank you for voting before for me. I thank you for fixing the technicality for that will help us down in Jackson. We did job. I did a little job. I have a little old mom and pops operation. I did a job at Whitfield, Mississippi. I did a job at, at the, at the, down in Jackson Public School. I did jobs in other places. I did jobs at Columbus Air Force Base. I did them over there as a general and as a sub. I did jobs over there as a sub. I did a two acre saw job over there. Seed and mulching, poor maintenance on it for three months. I worked around in places. I am a person, now I'm a human being. You know, I, I'm a person, I'm a human being. I don't like all the confusion and I would not create all the confusion against you and by no means, none of you all. I'm not that type of person, I'm not looking for that. You know, it just uh, you know I'm I, I don't I don't I don't get it. I mean I I'm, I'm very surprised and I I wanted Mr. Trent to be here tonight because I was extremely surprised at him. I uh, I supported him in his sideline business. Uh, if Mr. Trent texted me when he had his sideline business one time, he texted me thirty times. He had a couple of projects he had me looking at and talking and uh, I I'm just I'm just totally shocked. I mean I am. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate y'all. Mr. Southampton, before you leave, uh, could you get us a detailed list of the uh, the skill sets and things that you do? It's, it's there. That was, I think he provided that maybe to me. I thought she was going to give it to you all and him. I, I thought. Okay. You know, okay. Yeah. Well, if you if you don't mind, Ms. Administrator, would you get us a list and get get a list to our, our road manager and. Uh, Therefore, you'll you'll be aware of what he can do, and if there comes a need for him, you you can you can give him a call. Yeah. You built a bridge on Kennett Road. So a, a bridge on Kennett Road you build. Yeah. Well, yeah you've did. already done some work in the county. Yeah. And other well, I also did an extension, <laughs> an eight foot, a six foot on uh, Maple Sturgis Road. Also, mm -hmm. that was the one that you could walk on it, but the one on Kennett Road it was a small one, and I did a bar a tie in. Covers on uh, all, on uh, South Montgomery and uh, Poise Road. Yeah. Yep, I uh, this you know what what really puzzles me and bothers me. It really it, it hurts. It hurts. See, you know, when you have become family with a person or a entity, we we have our insurance. We pay our insurance every every year like anyone else. You all don't work people that they got workers' comp and general liability. You want them to have a purpose license, you know, for at, at, at the time when I was working for y'all before, y'all could only go 50000 with a bond. I can go 75 now. The state, they'll have raised it, you know. So my point is it don't have to be 50 or 75. I mean, you know, I mean, I can make a living out of a lot less, you know, on this, you know. Well, we certainly appreciate. Um, yeah. Can I get a motion to acknowledge his request? So by Supervisor Montgomery, second by Supervisor Williams, and to acknowledge that your request and that you're submitting the information to the Board of Supervisors for to do potentially do work. Um, all in favor? Aye. Motion passes 5-0. We'll Supervisor Manners on the way. Thank you so much. We appreciate Thank you coming you to see us. Thank you. In the right, right place. Thank you. Mr. Price, I? You want to come talk to us about the Water Association? Thank you. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for the opportunity to, uh, to visit with you. Let me get the easy one out of the way first. Uh, the district had puts in air relief valve on its pressure sewer lines, and we need a piece of three foot culvert to go around it. I went by the uh, road uh, place on Industrial the other day. And there is a used 36-inch uh, uh, culvert about 12 or 15 feet long that's been damaged. It, it appears it's been taken out and uh, not unusual to damage it. 
but we couldn't use it for a road, but we can cut it up in like four foot sections and use it if the board is willing to allow the district to have it. Certainly. Rob a damaged culvert they want to keep cut the pieces and use? We can make it a uh, determine it to be scrap. I mean it's scrap or not value actually and use it in the, in that regard. So we just need it to is is it scrap? Do you know what he's talking about? Oh, yes, sir. It's, it's, it's a scrap. It's a scrap piece of, like, we make it scrap and, and, and turn it and mm -hmm. get it used through, through the Water Association. That's the way we do it. And, so, and the, the district is a county agency. Right. Uh, we don't have to even do that then. We just okay. go directly to it. Okay. Uh, so, um, motion, motion that we allow the road department to use, uh, use covet, our uh, covets. Uh, for e to give to East Octavia Hall Wastewater Management District. Okay, second. got a motion, got a second by um, Supervisor Montgomery. All in favor? Uh, uh. Motion passes 5A. Uh, uh. Thank you very much. Right, thank you. Now the interesting one, uh, the state ARPA funds, uh, we have to have an application in by September the 30th to get matching funds. And we had brought you a approximately a $1.7 million request some time back. And now that uh, we understand that you've got a $13 million uh, grant hopefully for the lake, uh, we would uh, like to ask for $6 million, which would be matched by the state, which would give us 12. Uh, if that's not a good number, then uh, we would appreciate any number you can give to us so we can file for matching funds by the end of the month and get the project underway. And uh, this is the request. I've got about seven copies here, so. Yeah, it has to be done by the end of the month. The yes. request has to be submitted by the end of the month. Correct, and we're working on the so, application so to the state. We just money. don't have the... Uh, the dollar figure to go in there yet, so. Did you all apply for this other water grant that's out there? We didn't apply for the water. The water application just ended, is my understanding. You didn't apply for it? No, because we're a sewer district. And there's a set of funds for the water, and there's a set of funds for the sewer. And we were, what we're applying for is the sewer which is September the 1st to September the 30th because the application dates on it. Uh, how much area would that cover? We From don't have a detail. Million. I would anticipate it would go down uh, Highway 25, uh, Williams Road, probably go uh, a little bit west of 25 maybe. And then uh, with 12 million, we would want to go into Blackjack uh, there's some real needs in Blackjack area as there is down uh, Williams Road, Old 25, and Bethel Road that we've looked at. It, it, it pleases y'all. I'm not trying to throw a wrench in this, but the letter that we got doesn't have a number on there, so I just want y'all to be aware we don't have a number. Yeah, I mean. We got a general letter, but it doesn't cover, it doesn't, it's just a general letter, and it says we've been approved for a grant. But no details in it, and right. no number in it. The uh, number that's been passed around was 9.6 million, whether or not that's a good uh, No, no, I'm talking about for the lake. Oh, oh, well, okay. We got okay. a letter from that's the lake, right. and, yeah, and, that's, and. That's what I understand. Uh, but it's, uh, I think we're going to cover it in the next meeting, because he's going to try to get all the details on it. Uh, but there's no, there's no number on there. Right. No so information. Supervisor Trayer told me the other day that there was a question about it, so that's not a surprise. Well, we certainly need to give you something. Anything and we can get will be you know, matched and spent uh, in, down in that area. We'll go in the old 25 uh, Williams Road area first. We actually have over 200 requests for service in that area where we've gone out. And, and they asked people, would you like the service? And they came back and said yes. So. Well, I think it's a good idea, too, because we're matching money on it. So, um, anybody? Well, I mean, what, I, I'm, how do you how support feel this? At this moment, this? and I'm, I'm sorry, I know you're asking for matching money, but I don't know what ARPA funds we'll have available. And 
I'm sorry I can't honor this request at time. I do apologize. So. Well, that's, uh, you know, I, did, I didn't really, I didn't know if we would get a yes or no tonight. I know there's a lot of things in the work, but wanted you to know that the end of the month is this application period for matching funds. Now, uh, some people think there will be a second window. We don't know that. They haven't announced that. They've hired a, uh, a legal firm that's built a huge bureaucracy to uh, get this money out. So we've got like 70 something questions we have to answer and we've answered most of them. So it's an interesting uh, event. Dwight, what if, what if we filled the information out, made the request with the, because it's going to take them some time to, to determine that. And if we have to come up with a matching fund at that point, just try to tackle it as we can. And maybe we could, I mean, I, I realize they're wanting a solid number from that, but I, I just don't want to miss the opportunity either if there's a way to do this. Well, they want a matching number, and we're supposed to pro provide proof of how much um, how much in funds the county would provide. Yeah, I, I guess one of my concerns is this. when you all first put put this in place and the board approved it, you started you worked the east side of the, of the yeah. county. It sounds like that's that's the side you just constantly go to work. I mean, say for instance, we gave you six million. Uh, Central in the west side of the county is not. I mean, you you it'll be years and years before you even get. Well, that that's you know the, the one thing that uh, could happen, and I've been suggesting this for a while, talking to Supervisor Montgomery about it. Some is the district really should be expanded to the west side of Starwood. I understand yeah. that, but I'm, I'm saying we in this phase yeah. right here, yeah. I don't see. You see what I mean? If you really think about it. 9.6 that we have in theory but again we still don't know on the on the county lake if we're going to need some of that money and we probably will for that and and there's other requests as well so it's just you know and it's we don't know we don't know we don't if the know. letter talks about a study and we don't know how long these studies will take and we don't want to miss the opportunity it's it's really a challenge because we don't want to miss the opportunity to get matching dollars um, for for water association projects, uh, you know, I would say I would support it. Um, I will tell you that because uh, I, I'm I'm afraid if we don't move forward on something, that we may miss the opportunity on that. And it will from the time the funds are approved to whatever level, it will take about a year before we can issue a contract. It takes that long to get the detailed drawings done and to get all the approvals through MDEQ. Well, I, I, I'm continuing to be a no on that, not because I don't want to see the project, but because we've been mandated by the state of Mississippi to fix the county lake. And at this point, we're still unsure about what money we'll have left. Hopefully, we'll have some left to do some projects. Um, but that's, that's, that's why I'm continuing to be a no on that. Yeah, and I, I appreciate I that. We, and that's the reason we're just throwing our we, hat in the um, ring, if you will, and whatever I you guys we, can come up with. I think we're going to have to start. I think we'll have to start in providing wastewater treatment in the county. We're going to have to start somewhere. And this is a good opportunity to start. A good opportunity to start when we can, we can acquire matching dollars to go along with it. When will we ever get this chance again? Again, I think there's going to be another window. Um, I don't, I don't think so. But I, so I'm, there's other requests from water associations, and we've got other needs out there in the county. Are we prepared to do whatever dollar goes here? Are we prepared to do other projects along with it? I think we should. I mean, I'm asking. I mean, that's, um, I'm just asking the question. So. For instance, if we put a million dollars in this, are we prepared to put, a, say, another million dollars on Maven Sturgis Road? Because it's going to be DBST, not, you know, not uh, not asphalted like, a, you know, other roads or, you know, roads like that that are high traffic roads. I was told today if you have more than 150 
vehicles on a DBST road that it'll wear the surface off. But that's all I could afford on Megan Sturgis Road. So we got to be fair to the citizens in the east, in the west, the north, and the south of the county. So I think there's a plea out there from people other than the east side of the county, you know, and that's water, sewage as well. So and you're asking for how much? Six million. Do, do you see where this is only benefiting that area? Uh, this is a project to expand over the entire Octavia Hall County. Right now, where the district is, it would go basically from old Highway 25, when you buy Few 25, back around. And uh, I do think that they should be expanded to the west and take some of this money out to the west also if we end up with the 12 million range or something. Well, let's just come up with a number board and I mean, t let's make a motion. Somebody make a motion. I think, I think personally think with that we ought to move forward with some of this because I think we're going to miss the opportunity. And this is an investment and in infrastructure that's going to affect generations for years to come. Um, it's a, it's it's a lot in your district. Uh, do you I, have a. I just don't know where we're going to have this. I think that we, I think that we need I'll make this. a motion to do the Okay, Supervisor trying to make the motion to do the six billion. Let me ask a question um, before. I do want to have some discussion on this. So, y'all pretty much going to get basically all the ARPA money that's going to be left is now going to go into the east part of the county. We might With this not request, spend it. do you understand? We might what not we're spend them. We're going to hurry. Well, because time is running out. Time. <laughs> Money's running out for the people in the west side of the county as well. And that's yeah. the reason. So I'm sorry. Happened. I'm sorry. I know you've been pushing this, Mr. Prysock, and I appreciate the conversations we've had. And that's why I asked the question, how much of this will go in to anywhere except the east side of the county? And I don't, I totally understand the need. There's needs everywhere. And it's very unfair. And, and I see a vast amount of resources heading to the east side of the county when the needs are as great or greater in the west side of the county. So I think the board needs to consider how fair or unfair this is to the people throughout the county. Was there any uh, plans for going out west? Um, this money won't make it to the west we, side we of the county. We need to expand the district million. that way. The district stops about on Highway 25 going west. And it really needs to be wrapped on around the west side of Starkville. And uh, there. But, but none of this six million dollars will wrap anything no. on the no. west, correct? It depends no. on how we do it. It won't do it. It won't do it. I'm sorry. At, at some at some point, at some point, you're gonna spend the money, and then you gotta raise taxes to pay for the county lake. That that's exactly where that's heading to. So. You know, we gotta, spend we it, spend the money. To do how much? I will ask this supervisor. He said six million. Can, are we going to go to six million dollars out of the nine point six million on this one request? We, we got a motion. I mean, are you? I'm, I'm asking. We got a motion on the floor uh, for that. Anybody want to second the motion? Second. We got a second from Supervisor Williams. All in favor? All opposed? It passes three to two. The motion passes three All to right, two. All right, I want to make a motion to, uh, since ARPA money is just going here and there and everywhere, I want to make a motion to put an extra million dollars on the Maven Sturgis Road project out of our ARPA funds. Okay. That's Second. my motion. You got a motion uh, to put a million dollars out of the ARPA fund on the Maven Sturgis Road. That's Supervisor Montgomery. Got a second by Supervisor Howard. Um, all in favor? Aye. Motion. Nay. 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 Motion passes four to one. And I can't blame him for being a nay. Yeah. Yes, uh, I want to make Aye. a motion to put the final one point, that'd be 2.6 2. 2. 6 million on the county lake down. Second that. You got a motion uh, to put the rest of the 2.6 million on the county lake down. You got a second by Supervisor Montgomery. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Aye. 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 All right. All, all got three ayes. All opposed? Joe, which way are you going? I don't know whether we need to put all of that in, in, 
and, and they're not. We got three. Um, let's go. We got three. We got three. That's all. That's normal. Yeah. All right. I, I like to I like to say some of it for our top road yeah. because you know that that's eleven miles of road, and you're talking about Sturgis Maven. Yeah. That's nothing like the mileage that we're talking about when we're talking about uh, our top road. Let's we're change it. Six million dollars. Yes. Uh, it's been carried. It's been carried. So, uh, yeah. It's been carried. It's been carried. We're still having, okay, we, uh, which way is it, by the way? The, the like the vote? Yeah, well, I'm voting no. No, okay, so it passes three to two. To put the remaining 2.6 on the Octavio Hall County dam. All right. Thank you, Mr. Price. I appreciate you. All right, uh, Schaefer, um, Justin, yeah. Thank you. Hey, good. Y'all have packets that uh, you did. Print it out. I can do it on the projector or I can do it from y'all's packets either way. I've gone through it enough in my head. I'm pretty sure I could probably follow along with that one. Thank you. Give me a second. First off, I'd like to say I appreciate uh, you guys giving me a minute with the board uh, just to introduce our firm to you guys. Um, I understand, um, you know, you guys have some work coming up, and I want to make sure you know who we are. We've been, uh, our office was started 48 years ago by Gary Schaefer here in Starkville. Uh, he was a professor at the university. Uh, since then, he's operated in Starkville in Octavia County doing projects all over Mississippi. Myself, Justin's honor, my wife, Sally's honor, which is on the second page there. Uh, we are now the operating principals of the firm, and uh, we are, uh, along with Scott Comish, who, who's been in Starkville, uh, lived in Starkville for 40 years. <coughs> he's worked uh, in, with our firm over 30 years, but he's been in Starkville for over 40. Uh, Nate Johnson is our other uh, professional shown there. Uh, he's a newly licensed architect that we actually recruited from in Birmingham, so we're bringing professionals back into our community and working here in town. Uh, on the next handout is a list of clients we are currently working with. And this is important because it kind of gets to the type of work we do uh, to give you guys an idea. Uh, first on the list is the Mississippi Bureau of Buildings, uh, Grounds and Real Property Management. Uh, they are the entity that, that holds all the legislative dollars for all the state-owned buildings in, throughout the state, including Department of Corrections, uh, Department of Finance, uh, and, uh, Institute of Higher Learning, which controls MSU, Ole Miss, Southern Miss, all the other universities in the state. Uh, so we do a lot of work in Mississippi Bureau of Buildings, have about 26 year uh, active work streak with them. Uh, at any given point, we probably have 10 to 15 different projects going on with them across the state. Uh, really big client, really love working with them. Uh, the next on the list is uh, the Mississippi Department of Archives and History. Huh? I say this because we're working with DeSoto County on our Archives and History landmark building right now. And uh, we work with Archives of History for years now. We know all of them by their first name. Uh, you know, they, they call me by my first name when they call me. But uh, it's important in the relationship to have because they hold sometimes the keys to the castle on renovating anything in the state. I mean, when, when you have a building, say this building we're in right here, and you want to do anything it, with it, it has to be approved by Archives of History. And our relationship has shown we get that through uh, time and time again. Uh, a couple years ago, the state of Mississippi put out an RFQ for architects to apply to be a pre-qualified architect for landmark buildings in the state of Mississippi. Our firm is one of the few that are both qualified for both landmark and non-landmark buildings through the BOB. In your own city, we do, I mean, we, we're here, and we have that certification, not certification, qualification from the state of Mississippi to do that work. Uh, it's been great for our business. We uh, handle, uh, right now we're doing a renovation to the historical Jefferson College. Uh, down in Natchez uh, through that program. We're also doing uh, the courthouse in, in DeSoto through that kind of same program. Uh, we do a lot of K through 12 work in the state. Uh, we, we serve uh, a lot of different type of school districts. One, we work with Starkville, uh, Tibble Hall Consolidated. Uh, we're doing the ward renovation right now at the, at the ward, uh, Henderson Ward Campus. Uh, but we also work with Tupelo and South and North Tippa. Uh, Calhoun City or Calhoun County School District and uh, Union County so we're all over the state and you'll see on that picture right there that's the state we work in and that's how spread out we are so me Sally and Scott <laughs> we kind of break up the state and work basically from all the way from the Gulf Coast Natchez up to DeSoto County all the way to Corinth 
So we are all over the state, and uh, and we like that. Uh, we like that uh, kind of kind of space that we get. To, well, I don't like driving every week, but you know that's a lot of driving. We probably do ten thousand miles a month. But uh, no, I mean it's 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 a good it's a good opportunity to work with all these people. And we also work uh, with local jurisdictions. Right now, we're, we're working for the city of Starkville. We are responsible for all the buildings at Cornerstone. Uh, so we're working with Stark on that. We previously worked with them on the police station uh, project after City Hall moved into their building. Uh, and we also do work with uh, Oakland, Tennessee, which we're doing a sports complex in Tennessee. And we work with the Soto County Board of Supervisors. Uh, they hired us in 2019 to do a new agri center uh, for their county, which we're still working on, a very complex project. Uh, and, but since then, they've hired us to do their courthouse renovation. They hired to do a justice court renovation. They hired us to do all this stuff because they understand our relationship with archives of history and our experience. Uh, it was a good match. So we continuously get hired by these jurisdictions to do more and more work. Uh, we're really happy about that. Uh, the last kind of client uh, sector we work in is, is higher education. Right now, we have active projects going on with Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Southern Miss, Jackson State University, Mississippi Valley, uh, Mississippi Delta Community College, and um, I'm sure there's another one in there. We also have seen how nice the hub is. Yeah, the that's office. right. We worked on the hub right here. Yeah. Like within a couple blocks of this building, we worked on a lot of projects here in downtown and on campus. Uh, the hub one is one Sally did in my office. Uh, really cool renovation. And I'll get to it here in a minute. Um, when, when we talk about what we do, and I, I think that's you know, it's, it's really nice to know who we work for, but I think it's more important what we do, and you guys understand it. A lot of architects, if you ask them, they'll say they work in healthcare or they work in uh, you know prison work or in Department of Corrections work. Okay, they'll all say those things. What we like to do is talk about the types of projects we do, not who, not the sector that that's in. For instance, we kind of develop four different types of work that we do. One of, one of them is new construction. Almost every architect's gonna do new construction. They tote it a lot. You'll see a lot of pictures of new construction on their websites and everything else. Uh, we do that. We also do a lot of uh, renovation work. And, hang on a second. Make sure I'll skip one. Uh, facility repairs. Probably, facility repairs and building additions and renovations are our biggest sectors, obviously. Facility repairs is gonna include stuff like roof, roof replacements, roof repairs building envelope repairs. A lot of times people forget Mississippi's climate is harsh on building elements and materials, and that's a huge problem. And a lot of times those problems go years without being addressed to where it becomes even a bigger problem, mold and mildew issues, that kind of stuff. So we get hired a lot of times to do those type of projects. And then the last, the, and I've already talked about renovations and additions, they kind of speak for themselves. Uh, restorations and rehabilitation in the last sector. It's kind of our smallest sector, uh, but a lot of times we get brought in to solve complex problems with uh, really old, really important buildings, and we'll talk to a couple of them here in a minute. On the next uh, page, with the big site plan on that, this is kind of our new facility design, kind of new construction stuff. We take stuff all the way from a, a blank site or an existing building that we're going to demo to a blank site and, and bring it all the way up. We do site evaluations before we even start drawing. Uh, you know, we try to figure out where the building wants to be, and we start the process all the way from the beginning all the way through the new construction. But that's kind of what how our office is a little different than some other architects you may work with. When we have three main people in our office, me, my wife Sally, and Scott Combs. When we have a, pro we all have different strengths, right? And I, we know what the, our strengths are, and we know what. You, if you were to hire us for a project, we know what you're asking for, and what project you are asking for. We can pair you up with the with the correct leader of our team uh, to to get that done. And once we assign kind of an architect to you as a client. That architect will follow you all the way through the project. They'll be there at every project meeting. No interns will go. It's always the architect. They'll be at every project meeting. They'll be on the site once a week with the contractor and a, and a representative of the owner. That's how we handle the projects. Uh, and that way, you have continuity of information. Uh, what I know on the first meeting, I carry through the 35th meeting during construction. Right? That's what's important to us, to make sure you guys, the owner, has kind of continuity of information throughout the project. Uh, and that's kind of how we handle it. Uh, so that's kind of new construction. You know, we can talk. We, we do everything from one hundred thousand dollar projects up to, you know, right now our largest is sixteen million. We're doing a dorm for Mississippi Delta Community College, and that's sixteen million dollars. The Agri Center project in DeSoto County, sixteen million dollars. Uh, we're working on these things, uh, and we but we try to uh, focus on the small project. We understand, as you guys as clients, 
if you have a problem that's $100,000, it deserves our attention uh, just as much as the $16 million job because at the end of the day, you have a problem, we're here to give you the solution, and that's what we work to do. So, yeah, that's kind of how we handle that. And as an office, that's kind of our mantra. So, uh, the next couple images are, are kind of, the next couple slides are just kind of images of projects. Uh, I'm not really sure which one you're on, but uh, if I flip my screen around, it's, it's this one right here with this project. That's the new transit facility at MSU that they hired us to work on. Uh, we actually interviewed a bunch against a bunch of other architects for that project. Uh, the top left is the Agri Center in DeSoto County that we're working on. And the next slide is another building at Starkville, which is in the technology, uh, technology part. So we've done a lot of new construction through the years, uh, but, but our next segment is facility repairs. And like I said, it always talks about roofs and building envelopes and HVAC equipment and lighting systems, lighting upgrades. Uh, we do those projects. Our, our consultant team and us have been together for 15 years. We know exactly how they work. They know exactly how we work. We, we strive to have concise construction documents because we know what they're documenting. They know what we're documenting. It, you know, it, it's been proven over time that you have less issues in the field when this happens. Um, you know, I like to point out on that, on that drawing there, if you guys have it open, it's actually, I think, the next, the next page in your set. This is what one of our sheets looks like when we're doing a, uh, it's probably one, one more sheet, yeah. On the bottom right there, you see all those notes? In the, uh, you got it right there, yeah. Uh, that's what one of our sheets look like on the bottom right there. That's how detailed they get. That project uh, right there, that project's the dome at the, US, uh, at the uh, old Capitol building in Jackson. The Bureau of Buildings hired us to do a project there uh, and to renovate their own their own building. The Bureau of Buildings hired us to do their building. There's architects all around the Bureau of Buildings. I mean, if you drop the if you were in their buildings to type in architect in Google, there'd be 50 pins within three blocks. But instead, they hire us from two and a half hours away. And I think that's important. They know we handle that. They know we can, we can deal with it. That detail page right there you see is the result of over a month of research in the Copper Smackman Manual, which is written in like 1904 by like my great-great-grandfather. Guy's name was uh, A. Zaner. It's a co huge company in Kansas City. And uh, he wrote the original manual, which we used. And I mean, I guess he's my great grandfather. How many people? That's it. Yeah. How many people you know is like named Zoner or Zaner? They're spelled exactly the same as Walter from Missouri originally. So it, we have to be related somehow. Uh, they send me swag all the time. You know, the company they'll mail it to me because they know I worked with them in, uh, um, on a museum in Gulfport one time. But but anyway, like I'm saying, that one drawing right there took a month of research to do, and that's what we go through to get it right. Uh, the next page, you'll see pictures of the old Capitol. Uh, like I said, they hired us. We were there all the time. I think Scott just basically got an apartment next to it uh, and lived there while they were demoing that. Uh, but that stuff's important because those are problems that are small enough where most architects don't even call you about it. But we're telling you that's what we're highlighting. That's what we do. And then we do it really well. Uh, BOB hired us to do that. The Southern Miss hired us to fix their library that was leaking and destroying their archives ba in the basement. We went in and fixed that problem. Uh, and there's another project in Long Beach that uh, it was finished like eight years ago. It's fallen falling apart, and the BOB hired us to come in and redo the entire facades, all the windows, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, we Your do work buildings. is definitely impressive. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. Lots of stuff on here. Yeah, and there's a lot. We can go through it all, but you know, just to let you know, we do all new construction. We have a crazy amount of experience for our office. We have three architects plus Gary Shavers on retainer who who is also, he's kind of a, on consult, he's a consultant now with the firm. So anytime we need uh, his institutional knowledge, uh, he, he can be brought back in the fold. Uh, but we do all this work with six people from this, from this city. And we're just saying, uh, think about us next time you guys have a project and like use us, please. Because we, we, like I said, we have a Did vast we, amount of experience right here. Did we here ever in, in put Starfleet. RFQ out for engineers? Okay, we haven't done that yet, but we did. Yeah. We did, um, you know, uh, decide to do that. We just have not moved forward because we're waiting to see about some ground drill grants and stuff, things like that. So, yeah. but we'll make sure that that's well publicized so y'all have the opportunity to. Uh, Sounds present. fantastic. Yes, sir. 
anyway, well, I appreciate y'all's time. I didn't want to take it all up, and I'm glad everyone else finished first, faster so I had more time. But, uh, no well, I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Okay. If y'all have any questions, feel free. I'm, our office is right next door to Little Dewey. So okay. stop, in, stop in. Can anytime. I get a motion, got a motion, to, got a motion, got a motion to acknowledge the report by Supervisor Williams? Can I get a second, please? Second by Supervisor Montgomery. All in favor? Uh, uh, five yes. Mr. Baggett. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Well, I'm just going to request, um, we found out last week that we're going to be doing a lot of lead and seal, probably 11 miles of it, on BBST. And so I'm asking that we rent the road, that you allow the road department to rent a pneumatic packer. It's a packer with the rubber tires on the front. We had one, we sold it in the last auction. It was old, wasn't working, a lot of breakdowns. And uh, How also- How long are you gonna need it for? Just a month? Uh, I don't know, I, I don't it, know. It's all uh, over the county. Yeah, this- All right, I'll make motion for approval. All right, got a motion by Supervisor right. Montgomery to uh, rent the packer that he's needing, second by Supervisor Howard. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Uh, Motion passes 5-0. Uh, uh. If we can find a chip spreader, I would like to rent that as well. Our chip, chip spreader is running, but with uh, this process is going to be uh, soil cement and come behind that and, and uh, immediately DBST at Madden Seal. So you doing soil cement? Is that what you said? No, we coming yeah, behind. No, chips. chips. We coming behind the people yeah, with soil cement. Yeah, like y'all chip seal. Yeah, you doing chip seal? County line road or they? Or they, they chip seal. They're chip seal. And see, there's a time limit, and once, and uh, we can't, we really can't afford a breakdown of a week or two. Coming behind the soil cement crew. It's, it's Phillips. Phillips is going to do your soil cement. Phillips is doing the soil cement. Okay, he's he's got a request to rent so a chip seller. Motion by Supervisor Montgomery, second by Supervisor Williams. Any further discussion? All in favor? Uh, Motion uh, passes uh, five. Uh, and this might have to be coordinated with another county. I don't know. I've checked with uh, the people that sell chip spreaders, and they don't have one for rent. So I'm going to be contacting, with the board's permission, counties that have the, this piece of equipment. And if they aren't using it, try to work out something to rent from them. Okay. Just add that. Um, Amendment into my motion. All right. And we currently have a mini hole and a sheep's foot packer that we would like to keep for at least another month. Okay. And we need to make that amendment on Supervisor Montgomery's motion uh, that he said that from other counties too, possibly. So he wanted to amend his motion with that. Any issues with the amending the motion by anybody? It still passes 5-0. Okay. And what was you, you need a motion to extend the usage of a uh, oh. mini excavator. Mini, mini excavator and a ship, I mean a sheep foot sheep packer. packer. Okay, got a motion to motion. extend the packer. rental on the mini excavator and the packer by okay. Supervisor Williams. Uh, need a second, please. I second. Sup yes, uh, Supervisor Montgomery, I'm sorry. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes 5 0. Aye. That's all I have. Um, I have one thing. Um, uh, somebody wants a culvert extension on 29 Vickers Drive, if there's any way possible. Um, only if that would be a piece of a culvert. Uh, does, any, does any supervisor have an issue with that? Motion for approval. Okay. Got a motion extension. to make a culvert extension on 29 Vickers Drive by Supervisor Williams. I'll second that. Uh, all in favor? Uh. Motion passes. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Need a, a cover installation at three, uh, 3653 Wade Road. All right, need a culvert installation at 33. Second that. Uh, I'm sorry? 36. Uh, 36. 3653. 3653 Wade Road by Supervisor Howard. Supervisor Montgomery seconded that. All in favor? Uh, Motion passes 5 0. I need a I need a cover. We got you. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I need a cover installed 
at 1379 Robertson Road. All right, got Second. a motion by Supervisor Williams to install a culvert at 1379 Robertson Road, second by Supervisor Montgomery. Any further discussion? Yeah, I need to specify that this is not exactly at, at um, 1379. This is for this family to get into the pasture area. So um, you can the area there, uh, make, a, make a call and um, I'll tell you exactly where that location is at. You going to email me the telephone number? Yeah, I email, text email you the telephone number. Um, any further discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Motion Aye. passes 5 <laughs> Um, the only other thing I have is uh, in Sunnyland subdivision, that whole creek thing needs to be cleaned out in there. Um, and uh, the gentleman that is over Sunnyland would like to show you, and I will text you his number tomorrow, exactly what they, how they would like to clean those ditches out because it's, it's flooding that road and those houses. It won't be anything off the right of way. Okay. All right. Anything else for Mr. Bagley? I have a question. Okay, go ahead. The, the, did we ever figure out who the contractor was for the, the lady that had the Dodge that got the soil seen on it? I'm trying to remember. Um, yes, it was uh, um, the same ones that are doing Longview, Phillips. Phillips. Yeah. 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 yeah, and do we have Phillips information? Can, we've got another issue down County Line Road. We've got one person that called me today, and there's another person that's going to call about uh, soil cement getting on their vehicles. Mm -hmm. so, um, this lady said that she spent more, but uh, she would like to be reimbursed $500 for getting it because she had to take it to several places to, to try to get the soil cement off her truck and trailer. Um, do, Rob, do we need to address it like that, or how do we need to do that? Yeah. Um, or are you going to try to get with them? Well, here's the, the problem. I can get with Phillips. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like we've got about three or four. I have one. I mean, this has kind of got to be an epidemic well. um, at this point. Um, what I will do with the board, if, if I could get a... I'll, I'll text you the name and number tomorrow. All right, give me the name. I'll, I'll pair, get, get every one of them together all at once. And, and tell Philip to address each and every one of them. Okay, so um, we need a motion to allow um, Rob to gather all the information and then seek damages from Phillips for the soil cement that they're not putting the signs up for and are getting on these people's vehicles. Can I get a motion for that? I have a motion. Second. Supervisor Williams, uh, Supervisor Montgomery seconds it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, 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 motion passes 5 0. Okay. All right, Mr. Baggett, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Chancery Clerk business? I don't have anything tonight. Okay. Um, Ms. Wong? Um, county administration business. I put one. Um, a payroll that I got in the office today. So I make motion to approve items number one through four in the county administration. Seven. Um, I'm, you'll need to pull two out because I'm going to be a no on two, please. I'm going to be yay on all of them. Okay. All right. Um, John is, uh, makes the motion to approve one through four. Um, got a second by Supervisor Howard. Um, I'm going to be a no on number two. Uh, Supervisor Williams, uh, any further discussion? I, uh, need a vote, please. Go ahead. Uh, I think uh, Pickering, uh, I, I too. Okay. Um, but Pickering did pull out one of those invoices in relation to, um, in relation to uh, TJ. That one was pulled out, I believe. Okay. All right, so uh, the motion passes four to one. Um, and mine was, if you'll note it, please, that I approve the other ones, just not uh, number two. Also, I have a budget amendment to the sheriff's department in the amount of $11,509. You can add that to my. Uh, to the vehicles. The check came in Friday. Can we add that to my 
motion. Or I'll just make the motion for approval. Second. Second. All right. Um, we got a motion for approval for a budget amendment to the Sheriff's Department by Supervisor Montgomery, seconded by Supervisor Howard. Any further discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. Motion passes 5-0. Aye. Uh -huh. okay. One more thing. We need to acknowledge a letter from the Sheriff's Department to the agent of counseling, which is the prior grant that's given on um, Chad Garnett authorization to sign on behalf of the chair that he's out of all. Okay. Motion for approval. Motion second. for approval by Supervisor second. Williams, uh, second by Supervisor Montgomery. Um, any further discussion? All in favor? Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 okay. Triad. Triad. T R I A D. Okay, and before we go any further, uh, this was in my box. It's from the state fire marshal, and it is a check for one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. So, um, it is for uh, trucks for round fourteen of RFTAAP, um, a grant for uh, fire for fire rebate right here. So. Um, Need to acknowledge that or accept that we got a check for a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Need a motion by Supervisor Williams. To accept it. Second by Supervisor Montgomery. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Aye. All right. Good deal. Do we want to go ahead and do the other county business before yeah. we go into executive session? Would that be okay? Uh, county business supervisors, uh, we've got board appointees here. Um, we've got two positions to fill. It's actually three. The third one would be Eric Allen Hill for a three-year term appointment. That'd be my motion. Second okay. Up. He owns a uh, he owns an airplane. He talks airport stuff. He knows the jargon. He would be a great asset. From, yeah. I've heard I, that from everybody. Uh, I'd have three I'll positions. I thought it was only no, two it's positions. Three. It's a one, but the reason one is, is that Mr. Years. Grady Wilson, he was serving that three-year term, but he is no longer able to do that. He's not. He's been missing meetings because of his health. Oh, I, I made contact with him, and I just told the lowest before the meeting, he's going to step. In fact, he's resigned his position. Uh, so we'll accept his resignation. That would be Grady Wilson. He's a three-year term. Grady Wilson will be stepping down from the airport board. Yes. Uh, motion has been made uh, to put Eric Allen Hill in that position. I seconded that motion. Any further discussion? That's the three-year term. I think that's like a, I'm sorry. I, I was the second on that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't see. I, did. I apologize. I was. I was. No Sup problem. Supervisor Howard was the second on that. Yep. Um, yeah, I was. Okay, I just did so. Uh, no problem. All right. Uh, any further discussion? Nope. All in favor? Uh, Motion passes 5-0. All right. Now we've got a one-year term to fill. That's uh, a motion for reappointment. That's for um, Kennedy Neal. I think Kennedy is two years. Then. I have it right Kennedy here. Two years. Uh, Aldi Hughes is the Kennedy is the two year okay. Aldi Hughes is the one, it's the one okay, year Okay, so the one year term reappointment would be Aldi Hughes. Motion for approval on that one. Second. Um, may I got a motion? Got a second by Supervisor Montgomery. All in favor? Aye. Uh, and for the two year term? Uh, uh, okay, the two year for, term. Motion for reappointment on two year term for Kennedy Neal. Kennedy Neal second. for the two year term. Got a second by Supervisor Montgomery. All in favor? Uh, Motion passes 5-0. Okay. Is there, we'll go around the table if there's any further um, county I'm business, good. we'll get that done before. Supervisor Howard, we'll start with you. Nothing? I'm good. Um, Supervisor Williams, do you have anything? Well, uh, I'm concerned about the amount of uh, bush offing that's being done in my district, in my district, and I'm sure they'll get around to it get around to it, but I don't know whether anyone else having a similar problem, having a similar problem, but having I'm, I'm, wishing for, I'm wishing for more bush hawking to be done. Yeah. I understand. Well, I think, um, I, you know, I'm not sure where they are on it. I know they've done some in my district that I know in the past. 
rain has not allowed them to finish some years, but it looks like it's going to be dry right now, so hopefully they'll get everybody's done. That's all I've got in my head. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. If there's no further business for us to do, we will go into exec, uh, closed, session closed session to determine if we're going to executive session for a lawsuit. So moved. By Supervisor Second. Howard. Second by Supervisor Williams. All in favor? Motion passes 5 Uh